Many people who at some point decided they wanted to make games and they picked up an engine and they started diving in, and they quit before they ever finished their first game. Because the experience was just frustrating, it seemed like it was going nowhere. So hopefully, some of our advice here will help you avoid the common pitfalls. Be realistic. Now, I know it's tempting to imagine creating this huge game full of complex features and mechanics, but start small and build up. Think about what skills you have and what you can realistically handle. Got amazing art skills? Lean into that, but if scripting is new to you, maybe keep the gameplay simple at first. Set clear, reachable goals so you don't get overwhelmed and can actually finish your game. Remember, a small, polished game can be way more fun than an unfinished one. Core Loop A great game starts with a great core loop. This is the heart of your game. The action players repeat over and over, so as an example, a core loop in an RPG would be explore, fight, and upgrade. As you explore, you fight things. After you fight things, you upgrade parts of your character that help you continue to explore and continue to fight. A good gameplay loop keeps players coming back, so make it fun and rewarding. We will discuss more about Core Loop in a separate video. Remember, this is the most important aspect of your game. Assets Tiles, actors, decorators, props, items, weapons, BGM, UIs. This part is all about gathering your game's visuals and sounds. You can draw your own assets, commission artists, or browse the asset stores. You can import and arrange assets so you're free to get creative with your style. This can be exhausting, so start small and progressively update for more contents. Game Scene Place those assets in your world, set up your characters, and start writing scripts for how they'll act. This is where things get super fun. You're building the world players will step into. Add some UI for things like health bars or inventory. And hey, try to keep things organized. It'll save you so much time when you start testing. Test, release, maintain. Play your game yourself. Look for bugs and make changes. Once it's working well, invite friends or the community to test it. Don't be afraid of feedback. It only helps make your game better. When it's ready, do an official release and celebrate. But remember, game dev doesn't stop there. Keep an eye out for player feedback, fix bugs, and add new content or events to keep players engaged. A great game is one that keeps improving. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, press that like button and hit subscribe. See you next time.